What do you guys think? When you first saw this, did you picture crawler? Or did you picture, you know, 25, 30 mile an hour basher? Because I really thought this was gonna be a basher. I think it just does not look like an actual crawler. If it has a luggage rack on it, it's gonna be a crawler. I That's a good point. That. That's a good point. <laughs> I'm holding here a pretty unique vehicle. I don't see stuff like this on the market very often, and I'm excited to take a look myself and to share the experience with you guys. So if you like ground vehicles, I think you're gonna like this video. For one, this looks good, I think. I think that looks really good. We don't have anything that looks quite like this in our entire collection right now. So that's very cool. They're actually calling this an eighth scale. It's not even 10th scale. It does feel a bit heftier than a 10th scale, so that's awesome. I like the brand that's behind it. This is a JLB brand, the, the same company that makes the Cheetah. Now, JLB do a pretty good job, especially on their Truggies. Abby and I have two of our very fastest 10th scale ground vehicles, brushless ready to run, our JLB uh, brands, and we still have those things, love them to death. Now, the, the final thing that's so interesting about this is that they're classifying it as a crawler. Now, if you looked at this, you would never say that's a crawler. If you are in the hobby and kind of kind of know how vehicles are. I would together. say it's a crawler. It looks like a crawler. You think so? I think you're crazy. I think this, this stance is a bit too small. I don't think that it does look like a crawler. I don't think you have enough wheel clearance. Looks think, like a crawler. <laughs> I think to me it looks like a short course truck basher style of vehicle. Mm -hmm. But then you take a look at the chassis down here and you definitely have a crawler style chassis. This is not a basher style chassis. Yeah, brushed motor. I think yeah. that's a 550 size, am I right? 540, 550, something, something like that. Now we can we can pop the hood off and show you guys in more detail, but I wanted you to see we have our aluminum side runners here for the chassis. There's some plastic, but most of what matters is metal. So that's pretty cool. Now remember, bear in mind, this. It's JLB. They do a great job with their bashers. So I want to see how this does as a crawler. It comes completely ready to run with a battery and a charger. And the thing that I thought was interesting is you see this little luggage rack up here on top? Mm -hmm. It was actually zip tied to the bottom of this as it was shipped and I had to screw it in place. Now that's, that's funny. no big deal for those of us that like to put vehicles together. But the screws didn't actually line up very well. You can kind of see how that's off center a hair. And it comes with enough screws, like eight or 10 or so, to put all in. I only got four in here, okay? They were an absolute pain. I had to pre-drill the holes with a bit. Nate didn't like it. I didn't like it. <laughs> and here is our vehicle, okay? It comes with a 2S battery. And I love that they are just straight up ripping off Traxxas with the Traxxas battery tray system. You know what, Traxxas, uh, hmm. they're not what they once used to be, we'll just say that. Let's go in here, pop that sucker in. You know what, let's power it on. We haven't, I've have not powered this on yet. We'll just do that together. I do like a good Dean's plug on a ground vehicle. And I wanna see, is it a crawler or a basher? It's a crawler. Steering <laughs> reverse. Crawler all the way. 100% a crawler. This ought to be interesting. Let's have some fun. How does this happen? I'm the one that unboxes it, charges it, puts the luggage rack on top, does everything prepping, and Abby gets to get the controls first. How does that happen? Animal tracks, Abby. You love me. That's how. Look at that. What is, is that a uh, coyote? That uh, looks dangerous. That's a big dog, whatever that is. Wow. <laughs> right where we're headed. <laughs> it's huge, yeah. Okay, all right, I'm not scared. <laughs> oh, there's more! Okay, <laughs> there is scat back there too. All right. It's a loud crawler. It's very loud, yeah. let me yell so you can hear me. Yeah, that's a loud one. Let's get up here. I like, 
I like it though. It looks good. It looks like maybe more scale, I think. Being uh, lower to the ground. That's the body rubbing that you're hearing. And as Abby goes up through the ditch. So take a second here, stop for just a second because it is so loud. What do you think after that quick little run? It's so good, it's just loud. Yeah, it's do you a, think? It's like loud and like grindy, like basher kind of. Like I would expect a basher to be that loud. No, crawlers, crawlers can be loud. This one is loud. I think it's because it's eighth scale. Now when you pick up the speed, it's not as loud. What do you guys think? When you first saw this, did you picture crawler? Or did you picture, you know, 25, 30 mile an hour basher? Because I really thought this was gonna be a basher. I think it just does not look like an actual crawler. If it has a luggage rack on it, it's gonna be a crawler. I That's a good point. You think that. That's a good point. <laughs> Well, let me give it a go here. I have heels on, so. No low shots. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I wanted you to film. <laughs> Abby has heels on. Who, uh, how many women out there go crawling? First of all, just that statement alone. Well, usually not even me. With, I mean, with heels on. <laughs> it just happened today. Let's see, if this is a crawler, it should be able to handle this. Uh, maybe not. That's some it's got that. It's got stuff. that wheel in the back. It's gonna make it heavy. Yeah. You know, something about this makes me say red cat. What do you think? Maybe it's because it's red. No. <laughs> it does not. have like a big a... body that reminds me of the Gen 8s. That's why. Yep. But then also like the luggage rack, it looks like the Gen 7 too. Like some of the little scale details. Reminds me of the Gen 7s. It's a, it's a crawler in every sense of the word. You Just know, lacking better. lights. Yeah, a light bar would be nice. But look at that. It is legit JLB racing. And that's probably another reason why you thought it might be a basher. Because we've never had a JLB racing crawler. Ever. This must be a new territory for them. I think it's a wise move. And, and what JLB does, they don't just have like copies of stuff. This is a fairly unique vehicle. Mm -hmm. JLB, the cheetah that they do, and some of the others like the V3 and stuff, they are fairly original designs. Yeah, they all have four wheels. For some people, yeah, every RC car looks the same. But JLB actually does some legitimate original stuff. And that's what they're doing here with this. Now, I don't know the entire market, guys. I mean, yeah, I've driven about a thousand ground vehicles probably, but some of you just know the market really well or just have different experiences than us. So someone watching might actually know. Let us know in the comments below. Is this a rip off of something else or is it straight up original like we are thinking it is? Also, I should add, I put all these beautiful stickers on here. Oh. Yeah, all those are stickers. And I the did. The body came completely red, except for, you know, the black, I like, call that a maroon. wheel spots, but. So the stickers, they're bubbled a hair. That's because I did it fairly quickly. I could push those bubbles out. But yeah, I think I did okay. And it does look all right, but I suppose if you wanted to, uh, I don't know, do a more custom job with the stickers, you could. Even these headlights and things. I put all those on. Okay, my turn again. Huh. <laughs> I didn't even get to off-road it. You were too busy talking about stickers. Oh. 
That's my problem, isn't it? <laughs> you talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> it just can't do the tall grass. I don't know. Not enough clearance or something. You have to admit, Abby, for a crawler, this has very little clearance. If yeah. you think of an axial crawler yeah. or something like that, there's just not the clearance. Mm -mm. Nope, not at all. I think I know a hill we might be able to try. Yeah. It just gets caught on this tall grass and stuff. So I'm, I'm already calling some early prediction final thoughts on this. As we walk down the path a little bit more, I say if you're in the market for your first, second, third crawler, this is probably not the one you'd want to buy because it's not super capable. I don't know that it could really off-road extremely well. You're certainly not going to drive this on a competitive crawler course. Nope. But if you want something that's different and you just like having cool things to add to the collection, this would be for you. JLB has really good spare part availability for an overseas brand. A lot of places you can buy this stuff. Online, of course. Online. But with COVID, isn't that what everybody's doing? Online only? Just about? We all have to be our own RC store these days and say stockpiled on spare parts of our favorite RCs. Jumped ahead a little bit. I don't think you guys wanted to see us walk another like quarter mile on a flat path with this crawler. So we just came down here. We're gonna have a little bit more fun on slightly more rugged terrain and see how this does. We'll go down the hill a little bit, dive in through these ruts and try to climb in and out of them and get back up this hill. I think that's a lot better of a challenge for a crawler than a flat trail. <laughs> See, when I do stuff like that, the chassis, the bumper on the rear, just kind of drags through it. And as you can see right there, that little rut, we have this chassis that's just getting in the way. Or not chassis, but the body, the front. See that down there? I just have no wheel clearance. The tires are a little hard too. I'll have to get a closer look, but They just don't have a lot of grit. You need you need fairly soft tires to, to really get anything done. So I, I think I'm stuck. Does that mean it's my turn? No, I just, I just. <laughs> but you're failing. <laughs> I'm giving it a good challenge. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be able to make it out of this rut like at all. There we go, I got a little bit of tire grip there. Okay. Oh, you find it. It might be about your turn. <laughs> All right, everybody wants to watch you drive anyway. <laughs> Guys, this is what I do. I charge the things, I get them ready. I get them slapped together. I come out all excited to drive it. And guess who gets to take all the fun? <laughs> all right, that's okay. Just playing around. All right, we'll see if you can do any better, Abby. If you can make it through the ravine then you'll redeem the vehicle and both of us. The steering servo sounds okay. Nice and big and strong. I think you can see what I'm talking about though. Let's get a close look at these tires. There's not, yeah, the body is huge and clunky. If this is like a casual crawler at best. You're gonna take the body off. <laughs> we don't do that. We don't do that on this channel. <laughs> I do that. No, no, we're not driving glow bashers Finn. in the front. Oh no, no I don't like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll give you 30 seconds. I bet seconds. the bumper though. It looks like the bumper is gonna get my Listen way. to how quiet it is now. Yeah, it's like the bumper is in the way. Now. The body for this vehicle was acting as like a big speaker. It was amplifying the noise so loud. Well, the bumper needs to come off, apparently. <laughs> the bumper sticks out too far. Yeah, this is a low performance vehicle. I'm really disappointed because it's JLB. I just don't see this. Wait, look, now the rear bumper. Is... It's, yeah, you're getting caught. Can you even climb out of that? Let's show everybody how mild this is. Not a very steep incline. We're only dealing with a little bit of mud here. There we go. With enough juice, he got out. Well, 
Yeah, it looks horrible, doesn't it? Nope. We're not skeleton drivers here. Well, Abby, you put the body back on. Let's do a quick little recap here on this thing because I think the good that it has going for it is that if you're gonna buy an off-brand, JLB is not the worst brand to go with, especially Bashers. Spare part availability, good company. It's not bad. I do like the way this looks quite a bit because it's unique, it's different. We don't have anything that looks like this in the crawling section. Uh, yeah, I find it best to put the back ones on first. Wow. They line up a little easier yeah, the and then you can hit the front. Come on. There we go. Oh, we all struggle with this. It's, it's normal. <laughs> yeah, I like the way it looks. I, I truly do. And I like the scale of it. It's pretty big. And I think that's about where the pros end. Let's uh, let's talk about these cons. What <laughs> it's performance wise. The body's it's too not big. There. The bumpers, front and rear bumpers, stick out too far. Yeah, look how far, like that needs a... And the tires, they yeah. look like street tires. Yeah, it needs look at that. better tires too. Need some knobby things on there. I feel like it, with the size of the body and the bumpers, like it just needs bigger tires. Bigger, chunkier off-road tires. And I think it needs to have more clearance underneath the vehicle. You can see, look, look. Look how, look how low clearance that body is. It just catches on everything. And, and even more than the body, those bumpers don't let you get around anything, really. You know what's really funny, guys? I had brought with us today the GPS meter just in case this I wasn't a crawler. I told you you were crazy. <laughs> I was like, Nathan, this is a brush motor. What are you doing? No, no, there's some things that are brushed that I wanna know how fast they go. Yeah, but not this. Yeah, I just didn't know for sure. I did, I told you. We've had things on the channel before that have been marketed as bashers, but they were crawlers. We've had it the other way around, marketed as a crawler, but it was a basher. And I thought this might've been the case. It's a crawler, it's just, a very casual, very casual, like, you know, easy walking trail yeah. crawler. And if you're okay with helping it, you know, use the back of your foot and just kind of nudge it up past the tree yeah. roots, then you're okay. Yeah, but if you want to take it anywhere, it's just not gonna happen. I agree. Let us know your thoughts. Abby and I, you know, we take our experiences that we've had um, over the last like eight years on YouTube and just driving RCs and flying RCs almost every day, a lot of times something different too. We take that knowledge and that experience, though Though we don't, we don't care about the, uh, the width of that tire on the JLB, not yet. Okay, when, you know, if you like it enough to upgrade it, then we start caring about that. But is it fun? You know, that's, that's the real big factor here. And for the price of this JLB vehicle, there are others on the market that'll get the job done a little bit better. But if you've fallen in love with the way this looks, you want a bigger RC and you want something that's different, maybe to wrench on, then this does have some good to it. But when you compare it to other things in its category, it's falling a little short, to be honest. It's definitely lacking. The performance just isn't quite there. It gets hung up on everything. Even some grass. <laughs> Regardless, I still had fun today. It's still fun to get out and power these around. And you know what, just because this can't drive like an axial or something, maybe even the Traxxas, uh, you know, TRX4, what's it called? Is that right? Yes. <laughs> Names. I can still have fun with this. The other day, Abby said, you know, I can have fun with a rock. And, and she's right, we, we could. We could come out here and throw a rock back and forth and make it fun. <laughs> but uh, this could be fun. But because of what we do and who we are, we want you to have the best experience possible. And just know that there's other things on our channel worth your time checking out that is going to get you a lot farther uh, for the money that you have to go in the hobby. Not everybody has a YouTube channel like us that has the convenience of being able to go through vehicles a bit faster. A lot of us, well, you know, we buy one or two or maybe three vehicles a year. This probably shouldn't be one of your first three. Collection grows, maybe then pick it up. For the good in my life, for the good in our lives, I thank God. We're so grateful 
and I just want to give credit where credit is due. So that means I also want to say a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason we can get out here and jump in front of the camera as often as we do with a vehicle like this. It's a, it's a good one worth checking out mm -hmm. and we can be brutally honest with you. No strings attached. We don't owe anyone anything besides you, the viewer, that pays for good content, good honesty. So we're not going to sugarcoat this. We're not going to say go buy it when you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. You get the honest videos on our channel because of our patrons. So thank you. And because of that, before we go, popping up on the screen right about now will be one of my favorite RC crawlers. So go check that out. And we'll see you guys over there. Bye!